Welcome back to Coin Collector's Corner. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of the British two new pence coin featuring Queen Elizabeth II. These coins hold not just monetary value but a rich history that makes them highly collectible. Let's explore the top six two new pence coins you should be looking out for. 1978 UK 2 pence. Let's begin by understanding the history behind this coin. The two new pence coin was introduced as part of the decimalization of the British currency system. Decimal Day, or D-Day, took place on February 15, 1971, marking the transition from the old pounds, shillings, and pence to a simpler decimal system. Decimalization was a significant change for the UK. Prior to 1971, the British currency system was quite complex, with 12 pence in a shilling and 20 shillings in a pound. The new decimal system divided the pound into 100 new pence, making calculations easier and more intuitive. The 1978 two new pence coin features a design that remained consistent during the early years of decimal coinage. On the obverse side, we have the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, designed by Arnold Machine. This portrait was first introduced in 1968 and continued to be used on coins until 1984. Machine's design is renowned for its elegance and timelessness. Arnold Machine was an accomplished sculptor and coin designer. His depiction of the Queen shows her wearing the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara, which she received as a wedding gift from her grandmother, Queen Mary. On the reverse side of the coin, we see the badge of the Prince of Wales, designed by Christopher Ironside. The badge features a plume of three ostrich feathers encircled by a coronet, with the motto HDN, which means I serve in German. This emblem has been associated with the Prince of Wales since the 14th century. In 1978, the Prince of Wales was Charles, the eldest son of Queen Elizabeth II. The emblem on the coin symbolizes his position and heritage. Now let's talk about the value of the 1978 two new pence coin. In terms of metal content, the coin is made of bronze consisting of 97% copper, 2.5% zinc, and 0.5% tin. However, its real value to collectors is determined by its condition, rarity, and historical significance. 2004 UK 2 New Pence The 2 New Pence coin has a rich history that dates back to the UK's decimalization process. But before we dive into the details, let's take a closer look at this particular coin. The 2004 2 New Pence coin features the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse side, designed by Ian Rank Broadley. This version of the Queen's effigy has been in use since 1998, depicting her in a tiara. Surrounding her image are the inscriptions Elizabeth II DG, Reg FD, and the year 2004. On the reverse side, we have the badge of the Prince of Wales, a plume of three ostrich feathers within a coronet, with the German motto Ich dien meaning I serve. Below this, you see the words New Pence and the denomination too. This design was created by Christopher Ironside, and has been a staple of the two pence coin since 1971. Now, let's talk about the historical context. The term new pence was introduced during the UK's decimalization on February 15, 1971. Before that, the UK used a system of pounds, shillings, and pence. To ease the transition, the first coins minted in this decimal system included the term new pence. It wasn't until 1982 that the coins were changed to simply two pence. However, there was a brief period when new pence coins were mistakenly issued, adding to their collector's value. So why is the 2004 two new pence coin interesting? While the design remains consistent, it's the production year that matters to collectors. Coins from specific years can have variations in minting numbers, errors, or special editions that pique interest. Now let's get to the part everyone is waiting for the value. A standard 2004 two new pence coin in circulated condition typically holds its face value of two pence. However, if you have a coin in uncirculated or proof condition, it could be worth more to a collector. Generally, these coins might sell for a few pounds depending on their condition and demand among collectors. Here are a few interesting facts. While the coin might not be extremely rare, it's a beloved piece among numismatists for its historical significance. The transition from new pence to two pence is a fascinating chapter in the UK's numismatic history. 1971 UK 2 New Pence On the obverse, we have the iconic portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, designed by Arnold Machine. This portrait was used on UK coins from 1968 to 1984. 
The reverse features the badge of the Prince of Wales, a plume of ostrich feathers encircled by a coronet above the motto HDN, which means I serve in German. Now, let's talk about the history behind this coin. The year 1971 was a significant one for British currency as it marked the decimalization of the British pound. On February 15th, known as Decimal Day, the UK transitioned from the old system of pounds, shillings, and pence to a more straightforward decimal system. This two new pence coin was one of the new decimal coins introduced. The introduction of decimal currency aimed to simplify transactions and align with other decimal-based currencies globally. The new pence coins were initially distinguished from the old pence coins by the word new in their denomination. Now, let's talk about the value of this coin today. While the 1971-2 new pence coin is not considered rare due to its high mintage over 1.4 billion or produced its historical significance, and the fact that it was part of the first batch of decimal coins makes it a cherished piece among collectors. In circulated condition, this coin is typically worth around its face value. However, uncirculated or proof versions can fetch a higher price, ranging from a few pounds to around PS5 to PS10, depending on the condition. To give us more insight into the collectability and nuances of this coin, we have a special guest with us today. Please welcome John, a seasoned numismatist and British coin expert. 2006.UK2 New Pence The story of the two new pence coin begins in 1971 when the United Kingdom transitioned to decimal currency. The new pence was introduced to distinguish the new decimal coins from the old pre-decimal ones. However, by 1982, the wording on the coins was changed from new pence to two pence. So why does the 2006 coin still say two new pence? This is where it gets interesting. The 2006 coin is actually a commemorative piece, issued to celebrate the history of the UK's decimal coinage. It's a throwback to the original design from 1971, a tribute to the UK's rich numismatic heritage. Let's take a closer look at the design. The obverse features the fifth definitive portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, designed by Ian Rank Broadley. Her Majesty is depicted wearing the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara, a familiar sight on British coins. On the reverse, we see the badge of the Prince of Wales, a design by Christopher Ironside. This emblem includes a coronet of the heir apparent. Above the German motto HDN meaning I serve the inscription new pence at the top, and the numeral 2 at the bottom complete the design. Now, let's talk about rarity and value. The 2006 2 new pence coin isn't particularly rare, as it was minted in large quantities for collectors. However, its value can vary based on condition and demand. In general, a well-preserved, uncirculated coin can fetch around PS1 to PS3, while a circulated coin might be worth slightly less. Always keep in mind that the coin's value can fluctuate based on the precious metals market and the interest from collectors. It's always a good idea to consult a reputable coin dealer or numismatic expert for an accurate valuation. If you're looking to add the 2006 2 new pence coin to your collection, here are a few tips. First, Always handle coins by the edges to avoid getting fingerprints on the surfaces. Store them in a cool, dry place, preferably in a protective holder or album. And finally, keep an eye out for special editions or error coins, as these can sometimes be worth significantly more. 2003 UK 2 New Pence To truly appreciate the 2003 2 New Pence coin, we need to go back to its origins. The new pence coins were first introduced in 1971 as part of the decimalization of British currency. Before this, the UK used a system based on pounds, shillings, and pence. Decimalization simplified this system, making it more efficient and easier to use. The initial coins released in 1971 were marked with new pence to distinguish them from the old pre-decimal pennies. This naming continued until 1981, after which the coins were simply labeled two pence. However, in 2003, a unique run of two pence coins still bore the new pence inscription, a nod to the original design. Let's take a closer look at the design of the 2003 two new pence coin. On the obverse side, we have the effigy of Queen Elizabeth II, designed by Ian Rank Broadley. His portrait of the Queen has been a staple on UK coins since 1998. Surrounding her portrait are the inscriptions Elizabeth II DG. Reg FD, which stands for D.I. Gracia Regina Fidi Defensor, translating to, by the grace of God, Queen, Defender of the Faith. 
On the reverse side, we see the badge of the Prince of Wales' three ostrich feathers emerging from a coronet. Below the coronet is a ribbon bearing the motto HDN, which means I serve in German. This design, created by Christopher Ironside, has been used on the two pence coin since its introduction in 1971. Now, let's talk about the value of the 2003 two new pence coin. While the coin is not exceedingly rare, it holds a special place for collectors due to its unique inscription. In average circulated condition, these coins typically fetch a small premium over their face value. However, coins in uncirculated or proof condition can be worth significantly more. Finding a 2003 two new pence coin in pristine condition can be quite rewarding. Uncirculated examples can range anywhere from a few pounds to over 10 pounds, depending on the market demand and the coin's condition. Proof versions, which were specially minted for collectors, can be even more valuable. If you're lucky enough to come across a 2003 two new pence coin, there are a few things to keep in mind. Proper storage is key to maintaining its value. Keep your coin in a cool, dry place and consider using a coin holder or capsule to protect it from damage. Avoid cleaning the coin, as this can reduce its value to collectors. The 2003 two new pence coin is a wonderful piece of numismatic history, connecting us to the era of decimalization and the enduring legacy of Queen Elizabeth II. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, this coin is a great addition to any collection. 1989 UK 2 New Pence The 2 New Pence coin was first introduced in 1971 as part of the decimalization of British currency, replacing the old penny system. The coin was initially minted with the denomination New Pence to distinguish it from the pre-decimal penny. The obverse side of the 1989 2 New Pence coin features the iconic portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, designed by Raphael Makloff. This portrait was used on British coinage from 1985 to 1997. Notice the detailed crown and regal expression, a hallmark of Macliffe's work. On the reverse side, we have the badge of the Prince of Wales, a plume of three ostrich feathers within a coronet. Below the coronet, a ribbon bears the motto HDN, which means I serve in German. This design was created by Christopher Ironside. The 1989 two new pence coin is made of bronze, weighs 7.12 grams, and has a diameter of 25.91 millimeters. The edge is smooth, adding to its distinctive feel. In 1982, the denomination on the coin was changed from new pence to two pence. However, a number of coins minted in 1989 still featured the new pence inscription. This makes the 1989 issue particularly interesting to collectors. Now, let's talk about value. The 1989 two new pence coin is generally considered common, but its value can vary based on condition and demand. In circulated condition, it's typically worth around its face value. However, uncirculated coins or those with unique minting errors can fetch higher prices, sometimes up to PS1 or more. If you're looking to add this coin to your collection, here are a few tips. Condition aim for coins in the best possible condition, with minimal wear and clear details. Certification consider having valuable coins graded by a professional service. Storage store your coins in a cool, dry place, ideally in protective holders to prevent damage. Whether you have a 1989 two new pence coin in your collection or you're on the hunt for one, understanding its history and value adds to the enjoyment of coin collecting. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more coin collecting tips and historical insights. Thanks for watching Coin Collecting Chronicles.